October 9th was the day that you know he was launch- he launched his independent bid. He launched his camp Bobby launched his campaign before that, but it was October right. 9th. And then, you know, 10 7, this new situation 9/11. unfolds, this new 9 11 unfolds, yeah. which has a lot of similarities to that. And, you know, and I'll just say, I'm just sharing my own personal opinions here yeah. as we're discussing. Um, and it serves to distract and divide. It's like Absolutely. people were coming together. The world was starting to like come together towards like, you know, the ridiculousness of the funding the proxy war in Ukraine and it was losing support there. So it's not like it was like, oh, yeah, let's just flip this other switch. No, no. These events is all like a calendar that's planned. And it's like, how do you really divide people? And then like agents, like, you know, that lady you were just talking about, I don't even want to mention her name because like, does, it's oh. like they, they are energy vacuums. They are meant to take you in your hate. And when you give somebody your hate, you're giving them your power. So it's like, don't give them your power. Don't even like acknowledge them. Cause like, let's just understand she's not a representative of the people. She's technically she's an elected representative, but I don't think she listens at all to the people. That's why oh, she no. gets ratioed on everything. And that's very uh, reflective of the current state of Congress, House, county supervisors, state legislatures, like up and down. It's the corporatocracy has its kind of like it's of the party, by the party, for the party, of the corporation, by the par- corporation, for the corporation. And there's been this like delineation and this this removal of the basic human like people representation. And that's ultimately what happens over time through centralization. And that's something like, you know, the founders warned about in the very beginning was, you know, the power of the parties. As they become more centralized, they will they will seek to put their will over the will of the people. And that's where we're at right now. We're dealing with peak yeah. centralization. We're dealing with this uniparty, two-party, Republican, Democrat, um, you know, corporate machine. And Bobby has come along as this outlier who's saying, you know what, I don't believe that. And, and, and Bobby Kennedy is a blue rhythmic storm, according to the Mayan prophecies. And he is gathering all this energy and all these light workers and all these beautiful people. And does everybody agree on everything that he says? Like, no, but he's very well qualified for this role. And when you can bring together, like politics is more than just getting votes. It's also like, it's a talent contest too. How can you get the talent? How do you get the artists? How do you get the creatives? How do we come together for a shared vision, a shared purpose of humanity? And that's what really Bobby's kind of, I feel like he's pulling people Mm -hmm. together. And there's like, yeah, and, and so far I've seen it just by being on the road in my bus. Like, yeah, people are people are tired. They're like, they want they want a new oh, path yeah. forward. They want another option. And a lot of them aren't aware that, you know, that Kennedy's running. But again, it's like, you know, I think we got like 300 and I don't know. I try to keep the day count. But I think we were like probably 350 days away or something like that until the election. So there's a lot of time. Yeah. To still kind of wake up the the campaign is doing like you know it's fantastic we're because we're not challenging the republicans or the democrats in their primary uh process instead there's this new challenge of getting on all the ballots right so there's state by state efforts to collect verified signatures and you know we're going up against the corporate machine too like you know there's there's rumors that say like the Biden administration is committing hundreds of millions of dollars towards hiring up all the signature gatherers cuz like you know people like that lady we we're talking about she doesn't have volunteers that no. on their own whim go out and collect signatures no they pay people to go collect signatures or forge signatures now with Bobby and with a populist movement, you have people who want to actually help and participate. Yeah, that and correct. that's the great difference between corporate politics where you have to pay for everything. You get the cringiest, shittiest influencers imaginable to like make this cringe like, ugh, it's just so fake and corporate versus heartful <laughs> activity and actions and love of people coming together and creating and it's like i painted my bus without like 
I didn't know. No, I didn't ask for permission from anybody. I didn't request money from anybody to do that. I just went and did that. I was like, look, this is the time. I had that that sense in my heart. I was like, gosh, this feels like kind of like you know, this feels like the Ron Paul movement again in terms of like you know the potential for bringing about real change and really opening up the issues that really warrant honest discussion. But the, and the difference is instead of like you know sweet. Dr. Ron Paul, who had zero name recognition and was just like completely ignored by the media. Bobby Kennedy has, mm. he's got a one, the name, two, the experience, the history, three, the charisma, like, you know, he's got the family charisma and the ability to engage with others as well. So, yeah, it's really like it's the perfect storm and it feels right, especially at this time as we're like shifting between these ages, like we're at the top of we're at the top of the clock here and we're shifting from this Piscean age into this Aquarian age. And I feel like Bobby's this blue rhythmic storm that is helping to uh, aid humanity and moving from separation to ascension. So. Yeah, I, well, I I keep saying I wish there were no parties. Like, right? I, I know we talk about like the idea of multiple parties, but like my bigger question is, why do we need parties? Do we need parties? I mean, I understand having organizations that support certain things and support candidates, but like, I prefer none. None of the I above. agree. The father, <laughs> the father of our country specifically said that, you know, Political parties will be the death of the republic. It's the know? problem. That's and so problem. and so how we fix it is is it is independence and it's yeah. time. Like you know, you ran as an independent, Jen. No, I had to. Well, no, no, no. I live in a district wherein the only way to oust the incumbent is in a Democratic primary. We have closed primaries and a very very blue district. So the only what, way. To what district is that? Twenty five. Florida's twenty fifth. So it's the suburbs of Fort Lauderdale. Suburbs of Fort Lauderdale. So let's set the mission. You're not let's running as an independent here. You'll get nowhere. We're turning it independent next year. Let's figure it out. I, hey, I'd love let's, for that let, to happen. Let's set, let's, set, let's set that intention. Let's get those votes. But and let's, the, the thing, thing is we need, we, need, we need to provide people with an option because a lot of people, a lot of old Democrats, like old blue Democrats, feel a little bit lost with the current state. Because if you've been a Democrat for 30 years, the party is not the same party. It is like a very different. Now, there's also like a lot of hypnosis that's going on and a lot of programming of, of individuals. But the key opportunity for us now is not to focus on what was, but to focus on like, you know, presenting people with that invitation to say, you know what? Thank you. Thank you, Democratic Party. Thank you, Republican Party. Thank you for the good, the bad the ugly, the ridiculous, like the crazy. And it's time to say, I'm not interested anymore. And I declare my independence and let's look towards new models moving forward. We and need so, to voting in order. See, these are things that I totally agree with, but like here, idea. for example, we need open primaries and ranked choice voting in order for any non-duopoly candidate to have any chance. One of the best. Well, questions. and we need to, and we need also, we need, we need, um coordination amongst because you've got like you know you're one two and that's like you know and then there's a primary to get that then there's like a, a selective primary mm -hmm. to get that democratic nomination which yes. is basically you think it's a shoe in but then there's like then you got a republican and then you may have like you know seven or ten other candidates that are also like you know splitting that other independent vote so there is a real opportunity like across the country to try and unify that independent to an independent vote around a new path forward. And it might be, you know, and I, and I think at the end of the day, it's like, no, just, just recognize that no politician, it doesn't matter what color their, 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 their party is or their non-party is. No one person represents you fully like period. No. End of story. Nobody. Yeah. So it's like, you know, they're, they're, they to, to expect that this system of representative government is going to reflect the people. It's crazy. It's just yeah. not going to happen. So, you know, we need, we need, like, you know, I'm I've got right. Where was it? I've got, I was just in, in Denver at an international summit. I was talking to the Alliance party and they have like, you know, this, 
this basically this you know this code of conduct or this pledge or this oath that you take as an independent towards certain values and it's like you know we need these basic like tenets about like you know being oath sworn towards serving your people and listening to your people and then along with the technology that we have in play as well like we don't need like some shitty corporate polls that are giving us some biased results versus you know we can actually query the people when it comes to the legislative issues that are at hand and we can also look towards instead of like instead of letting politicians like talk and debate and discuss and deliberate and take lobbyist money and then execute legislatures look at things like citizen assemblies to you know to actually inform uh random selections of the population almost like a jury duty style uh, uh event but to look at specific policy issues so you can have a really informed dis discussed um, output that can be used towards informing the legislative and actually taking it to the vote so i really am hopeful and, and, and optimistic about you know where things are going and um you know as opposed to like criticizing by like you know complaining i criticize by creating be that change, set that ideal outcome of what you want to achieve, manifest, visualize, execute, and, uh, you know, and do it in a truthful, gentle, fearless, beautiful way. You know, one of the best experiences we had here locally, and this is one of the hallmarks of local politics, where the whole concept of what Bobby's doing does make a lot of sense. We helped campaign for a local friend who ended up winning the mayoral seat in the town that we both happen to live in. And what we discovered is that because it's a nonpartisan race, you take it right to the people and you could have the most vote blue no matter who or the most MAGA red Republican. It doesn't matter. It's all about the candidate and the issues that they're fighting for. And they end up agreeing on the same candidate, which means that the two party duopoly has run its course and mm -hmm. we need to evolve in that regard. And I think what Bobby is doing is essential, regardless if you support him or not, you should support his efforts. His efforts are changing the political landscape in this country, regardless of where people stand. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.